In today's video, we are once again attempting one of my craziest videos ever. What's up guys, we're back with another opening. In this video, you might be asking, what is your craziest opening ever? It's not my craziest, but recently we did this and it was an insane video. Before we actually get into it though, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these two Egyptian God card decks. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know which side you pick because there's two different sides to pick from. Let's get into it. So my crazy opening that I did recently was Raw Yellow Mega Pack versus Legendary Collection 2. If you guys remember this video, there was so much value pulled. I went back and checked. It was almost $500 in value pulled, not like from the, the packs or anything. It was like literally the cards we pulled were worth almost $500. So we're going to be attempting this again. So I have another booster box because I've, I've been looking at this box like, man, I want to do that again so much. There was so much value. It was so fun. I have another box and then I have four legendary collection too, which makes 20 packs and the promo packs to make it sort of a fair fight there because this, this Royal Mega Pack was crazy last time. Why haven't you done it yet? What are you talking about, Ruxin? What haven't I done? You haven't clicked my link down below for 15 free dollars on whatnot. Why would you want to do that? Because my whatnot streams have been insane. We've given away a Ghost Rare Stardust, a Ghost Rare Black Rose, and this next stream we're giving away a Secret Rare Dark Magician Girl. And you might still be asking, what is whatnot? Whatnot is a live streaming app where you can buy and sell things live, whether it be trading cards, shoes, or other collectibles. And not only that, they have a marketplace feature where you can sell things while you're not live as well. I've personally sold hundreds of items on the app in the last three streams, and my next stream is coming up May 11th at 5 p.m. Central. As I've already mentioned, the giveaways have been insane. We've given away almost $3,000 worth of cards and I'm constantly bringing epic packs and singles for you guys to purchase as well. So if you guys don't want to miss the fun, make sure to use my link down below because you're going to get $15 for free on your first purchase on whatnot. And I hope to see you guys there. Thanks again to whatnot for sponsoring this video. All right, we got those open. We have our four promo packs, which are worth about 10 bucks each. So that's 40 bucks right off the bat for Legendary Collection GX. But they also have four less packs. The actual uh, value of these, the uh, current rate for most of this stuff is very similar. Like the, the box is basically four Legendary Collection GXs. So it's about as even of a fight as you're going to get. I mean, there's less packs, obviously, but they have the promos, which, you know, makes it 20 packs and four promo packs is 24 packs. That's what's in here. So it's about as close as it's going to get. Hopefully it's just as exciting as last time all right raw yellow versus the one the only legendary collection gx we do have four extra raw yellow as i mentioned so let's start off with that hopefully this is just as crazy of a video i'm gonna kind of push these to the side a little bit so there's a little bit more background there okay what will we get i think like the thing is almost all of these you're like i think these are money i think persona tricks could be money i'm not really sure stratos i know is money that that's definitely good we have a mud ball man that, is that a super no it's a common in this set it's a super in the other set War Chariot, good card. There's a six Samurai Ear Room. Not amazing. I remember a lot of these cards I thought were not good last time were actually crazy. So I'm gonna have to be careful there. Crystal Abundance. Last time I was trashing the crystal cards. Turns out a lot of them are like three to five bucks. So really not bad. And then an Amber Mammoth. So that's gonna be decent. I don't know if that was because of the Crystal Beast stuff you know, currently being popular, but, or should I say it was reprinted in Battles Legend Crystal Revenge, or at least uh, the new version. So maybe that was why. All right. So I think we pulled like multiple money cards there. I just looked, I was looking through the price. I think some of those commons were money. Like, yeah, there's a lot of high value stuff in these sets. I, I still like have a, like a big section from where I list a bunch of cards from this last time on my TCG player. And it's just a bunch of this, like, you know, all these same cards over and over. We have a DD Crow. That's money. We have a Gladiator Beast Darius. I think six to seven bucks on that secret rare. Voodoo Summoning Karibo, also pretty decent. Overload Fusion. And yeah, we're really looking for those hero comments because almost all of those are money out of Legendary Collection GX. So uh, our, our, the score will be popping up consistently throughout. Uh, we're going to do our best to not have any math errors, but when so many like prices are popping up, I remember last time we were trying to get it right, but there were so many like different prices and it was changing. Level nine, I wonder if that's any good. We have a Proving Ground. That's a good ultra rare. Crystal Blessing. This is one I thought was bad last time. I think it might actually be okay. Uh, Grand Mole. Very good. A Dark Lord Desire. Anything interesting. Necro Shade and Rainbow Dragon. I don't think any of those are too crazy, but of course I could be wrong here. We're going to do a couple of raw yellow in a row because there are a couple extra there. So we'll try to, you know, even it out as we go. But let's see what else we can pull. Gladiator's Return. Offering to the Snake Deity. We got a Shut and Doji. You Bell. I think that's money as a rare. Six Samurai Eero again. Okay, not great. Necro Garden. I know this one's actually not too great. I think it's like a dollar maybe. Uh, Hero Blast Super. Respite. And uh, looks like Avian. 
I this is a decent card, but I don't think it's money. And then I think Avian Alt Art could be a dollar, but we'll have to check that one. Back to GX. So far, we've had some pretty good pulls. Nothing insane, but there's really nothing insane in here. Like there's, I mean, some of the commons are insane, but like there's nothing like 50 bucks in here, but there's a lot of solid value. There's a Phoenix Enforcer. That's very good. We've got a Power Bond Secret. That looks beautiful. I'm not going to lie. A Proto Cyber Dragon. I guess that's not too great. Steam Healer. Don't know a lot about that one, but Elemental Hero. So I'm going to give it a you know, probably decent. Amethyst Cat, Miracle Kids, and a Voltix. So not a very popular elemental hero, but they're almost always a dollar. So maybe that one is. Raw Yellow Mega Pack, the pack of the Megas. Wow, I cannot open this. I am assuming GX is still ahead because they have the $40 like head start, but they might like slowly lose that lead if Raw Yellow is as good as last time. We have Venominaga, Lumina, good card, but not worth that much. We have an H Heated Heart. Really want the e emergency call here. Hero signal because that one can search out a hero, which is very good. We have an Electrum, that's probably money. We have Ancient City Rainbow Ruins and a card ejector. Okay, let's do this double pack in a row again. Raw Yellow Mega Pack, Judgment Dragon. I think we thought this might be something. I can't remember if it actually is though. Great Shogun Sheehan, Rainbow Gravity. War Chariot is a couple of bucks. Miracle Fusion, definitely a good card. Awesome pull. We got a Neos Alias Secret Rare, probably decent. Amber Mammoth, probably decent. Kind of got Six Samurai, Mizuki, pulled out in the first pack. Gallus, Rainbow Path, and uh, yeah, not a bad pack there. Nothing insane, but a lot of like couple dollar cards in there. All right, we got a guy mowing outside. So I've been trying to record today. A lot of mowing has been going on, let me tell you. Okay, Legendary Collection GX. We have Yariza. Thunder Giant, maybe not money because there are more prints of that. I'm not sure. Dark Lord Desire Super. Dark Neos, that's a pretty good one. Secret Rare. Hydrogadon, I don't know about that one. Proving Ground, also don't know about that one. Hero Signal, Sparkman regular is not going to be crazy. And then Flare Neos could be because they're probably the only common version of that. All right, I don't know if we're, we're seeing the fireworks like last time because there's a couple of big commons that we have not pulled yet, especially out of Raw Yellow Mega Pack. There's like two $10 commons, so... Yeah, yeah, that'd be great to pull a bunch of those because obviously 10 bucks is a lot for a common. We have a Destiny Hero Plasma. That could be money because it's actually playable. Judgment Dragon, not sure about that. I mean, all these cards are good. Flame Wing Man, I know is money. Dimensional Prison, this is one that was insane last time. This card was like 30 bucks out of raw yellow, which I didn't know. And Legendary Collection GX is unlimited, so it wasn't as much. This one is a crazy card. Malicious, also one of the best cards in the set. Secret Rare, I think it's about 15 bucks. Cobalt Eagle, wow, it is mowing outside. All right, we got Grandmaster, Flute, Electra might be okay, and Rainbow Dark Dragon. So very nice pulls that time. That was our best pack for sure. Okay, back to Legendary Collection GX. That was a massive pack for Raw Yellow. So I think Raw Yellow probably just took a huge lead, or at least, well, maybe got the lead back, I should say. We have Amber Mammoth. See, the, the funny thing about these sets, they have all the same cards, just a different rarity. So like the Amber Mammoth's a super in Raw Yellow. Evil Hero Lightning Golem, I don't know if they have that. That's a nice hollow. We have a Bestiari, very good secret. That's nice. Cyber Dragon Original Ultimate Rare, or Ultra Rare, Original Art Ultra Rare. That's what I'm trying to say. Over Destiny. Rottweiler, we have a D-Spirit, and a Mizuki. So not as strong of a pack, but still a great pack for Legendary Collection GX. Okay, Raw Yellow Mega Pack again. This is quite the battle. Divine Neos, I'm going to wager a gander that that one's not bad. We got a Judgment Dragon again. We've pulled a lot of those. Shogun Sheehan, we got Yubel. We got Yubel and Yubel Terra Incarnate. Not bad. Wolfline Sworn Beast, not crazy. Cyber Dragon Alternate Art. Now, this one's pretty good. I think it's around 10 bucks. Crystal Beast Emerald Tortoise. Everybody loves those. Uh, Sparkman Alter Art could be something. Mizuki pulled a lot. Dark Lord Desire. Okay, that was another strong pack from Raw Yellow. They can really get it rolling and pull like four good cards in a row and just in Legendary Collection GX. The funny part is though, we haven't pulled any of the good commons out of Raw Yellow, which actually I think made the difference last time. It was because of all the Ryos and stuff like that. Um, and the Prismas. We have Doom Lord. Ryo is actually in here as well, though, so maybe it didn't make as much of a difference. Mudball Man, Super Rare. We got Necro Garden. It's not even a dollar out of Legendary Collection GX. Kid Guard. Don't even remember that card. Proto Prodigy probably used to be money. Not anymore. We have a Gateway of the Six. Yeah, that was not a great pack there for GX. All right, Raw Yellow Mega Pack. This is your chance to really turn it around. Well, I mean, you've already turned it around, but really take a huge lead, I guess. We have a Hero Mask. I think the last time this was about a dollar. We have a uh, Sapphire Pegasus. There it is. The Thunder King Ryo. It's like a $9 common, maybe 10 Pretty insane. Disc Commander could be okay. We have a Six Samurai Uriza. Destiny Draw Secret Rare. Not bad. Destiny Signal. I think our best card's the common so far. Sheehan's Chancellor. 
Uh, Cyber Dragon Common, cool. DD Survivor, Rainbow Neos. Now that might be good. Before the reprint, this was probably like 10 bucks. All right, let's do our back-to-back -back raw yellow. We still haven't seen a Prisma yet. Prisma's gotten really big thanks to like, it might be used in Edison or some sort of old format probably. I know it was uh, it was big on one of Simo's series, so maybe that's what's going on. We got a Lemista. Rare value. Thunder King Ryo back to back. That's huge money. Garoth. We got a six samurai. Come on. Dimensional Fissure. This is another huge one. I think it might be close to $20. One of the best cards in the set. DD Crow. Wow, this is a huge pack. That was like a $40 pack. These th that's like the second or third $40 pack we've had for Raw Yellow. So I think GX is hurting right now. GX really needs to pull that Neos Wiseman Ultra Rare, which is like 20 bucks. And then also pull a great secret rare as well. We have a Neos Force. Come on. We got a Malicious. That could be good. Magma Neos also a couple bucks laquari always pretty good armatile don't think it's too great d time i mean who could complain about d time we got spark man we have a cunning of six samurai and rainbow path gx it's kind of i mean that was fine but it really needs to step it up to have something crazy we have a crystal release elemental hero prisma they're putting it away they said no this is not going to be a close game this is like in the NBA playoffs when you're you're up by like 20 and a half and you just come out and just win by 40 because you're like, they're not they're not even going to have a chance. There's our third U Bell. That's beautiful. Instant fusion. That's crazy. Band and Mastral, but not in real life. Okay, we have a Crystal Beacon and a Topaz Tiger. That was very good pack. Wow, that was an insane pack with the Prisma, Overload Fusion, Kasha. Okay, wow, looking good there. Okay, I feel like Raw Yellow is way ahead now. I feel like I have a little bit better grasp of what the cards are like worth. Uh, unlike last time when I did this, I wasn't completely sure. Wing Rebo level 10, that's a money card. That's good. Uh, Light of Redemption, Clear World. We have an Elemental Hero, Sparkman, Alternate Art. Okay, Legendary Collection 2, I see you. Garoth, not great. We got a Crystal Promise, Card Trooper, and a Double Edged Sword Technique. That was actually a pretty good pack, so... Overall, I'm guessing they made back. I mean, it wasn't really this one. It was probably 15 bucks. So 15 bucks is not terrible, but it's no raw yellow mega pack. And speaking of raw yellow mega pack, it has returned for more damage. Oh, here we go. We got a Stratos. Very good card. Crystal release. Prisma. Oh, it just keeps rubbing salt in the wound. Chimera Tech over here. I can, could be a dollar. Jane, not bad. Super Polly, another $20 card. Dark and Dragon's money. Oh my gosh. The pain. This is a beat down right now. I feel like raw yellow is up a lot. All right. I think we have to do a double pack one more time to be even on packs. And then we should be good because of the four extra packs. Wow. This. Okay. Magical Mount, I think is money too. Okay. Test tires like six bucks. Fusion recovery. Cyber and Dragon. Cool old art, but I don't think it's worth anything because there's the ultra promo version. It's like 50 cents anyway. Zanji, we got the O oversold and we need the E. That would be crazy. Hero signal. Okay. Calm down a little bit after that Prisma, but Still another good pack. Sparkman could be money as well. Wow, GX, you really need to pull something crazy. I mean, we're talking like your best cards would need to be pulled. We have Judgment Dragon, Bubble Man, Diamond Dude's not bad. Phantom of Chaos, it's a couple bucks. Uh, Magical Mallet, speaking of, this one's worth a couple bucks as well. We got the uh, Elemental Hero, Nasp. I don't know how to say that one. Uh, Grave Squirmer, Transcendent Wings, and a Grand Mole. That is probably not going to do a Legendary Collection GX. Mega Pack. So I think if, if Mega Pack wins here, I mean, we can almost say, I mean, we, we're, it's like the clean sweep. If we, I mean, it's not like a four game series in the playoffs, but there's a Stratos. It is another War Chariot. Very good. We got a Wolf. Also good. A Crystal Promise. Pretty decent. And it's got, honestly, a pretty good pack. Uh, we could, it's not quite the sweep, so we can't completely say that Raw Yellow is definitely better, but it's looking that way. It's headed toward the sweep. GX is not over, though. It's not over. You got to fight back. Just because you're down doesn't mean you can't come back. We have the uh, Destiny Hero Departed, Cyclone Blade, the Diamond Dude, the Namanaga, Elemental Hero Avian. We're getting a lot of the alt arts, which is really good. I mean, those are money. Ice Queen, I don't think is that great. Gladiator's Return, anything else. I haven't pulled any Ryo out of this either, and it's in Legendary Collection GX too. All right, Raw Yellow, you've been, you've been very good so far. I'll say that. I mean, I won't even say you've been pretty good. It's been impressive. I mean, I don't know if Raw Yellow, I'm interested to see if Raw Yellow will beat the 266 of last time. I think it can. Neo, System Down, Magical Mallet, another money card. Flame Wingman, another money card. And Nasashi, not so much. Super Poly again. Oh my gosh, huge money card. And then Tortoise. Another just like 20 plus dollar pack. At this rate, we're going to have like a $500 box. All right, GX, this could be crazy. I mean, if it averages $20 a pack, it, it would be pretty insane. I mean, that would be a lot of money. We have the Six Samurai Yaichi. I need to move those. 
We have a Inferno. That's a cool... Oh, that looks nice and super. Banish of the Radiance. A few bucks. Not bad. Macrocosmos. Also a few bucks. Crystal Beacon. Them. This is one of their better packs so far. Skyscraper. No Ryo. Really need that Ryo. Hero Kid. Wait, I think this is money, actually. So that... Yeah, that was a pretty good pack for GX. I mean, it's still less than most of the Ryo Mega Pack packs. Because the Ryo just has some absolute bangers it keeps pulling out. Rainbow Gravity. We have the Elemental Hero Neos. System down. Ubel. Good card. Macrocosmos, first edition. That one's going to be more than the GX one. Uh, Hero Flash, Secret Rare, and Light End. This one's not any good. Still, that was, I mean, that was a lower pack. Elect well, Electrum's worth a couple, so maybe it was still pretty good. GX, come on. You need more of those big packs like last time, except maybe even better. <laughs> come on. We need uh, Rise of the Snake Dean. Not bad. We got Neos, Lightning Golem, Super Poly of their own. Okay, we got a play set of Super Poly. That's big. Shunda, so we need that, and then we need the Neos Wiseman in the same pack. Dark Calling probably used to be money. Plasma Vice, I think, is money. Uh, okay, adding up GX, make a little comeback. See, this one, this is just so much fun. It's every pack has like four money cards in it. It's like, you don't you really see that anymore. It's pretty insane. We got a rare value. Divine Neos, I think, is money. Plasma could be. Manamanaga, we got Double-Edged Sword, probably not great. Crystal Blessing, I think it's a couple bucks. Hero Blast, not great. Okay, well, Raw Yellow, did they have a bad pack? Wait a second, Mizuki, Gallus, they had a bad pack. It's crazy, GX, you're still alive. GX, you are still alive, but you have to capitalize on this moment. This could be huge. Here we go. Dark Panther, come on, we need something big. Hero Counter Attack, Infernal Wing, I think is decent. Shining Phoenix of Forza is not bad. I think it's three or four bucks. Who does summoning Karibo? I can't remember if that's money or not. Defender, we need something else. Come on, we need a Ryo. Come on. Blade Edge, Venom Swamp, no Ryos for GX. I think those Ryos and those Prismas are making a huge, that's like 50 bucks worth of value for the raw yellow, which I don't know what the score is myself, but you guys can see. Is that 50 bucks making a big difference? I think it probably is. Oh my gosh, how is this pack opening? This is painful, what is going on? Oh gosh, maybe this means there's something crazy in here. Probably, because it's raw yellow mega pack. All right, we finally got it open. Thunder King Ryo, of course. If there's a Prisma and a Ryo in the same pack, level nine might be money. Yaichi, not great. Crystal Bond, it's not bad. Crystal Raigeki, can't remember if that's good. Avian, could be a couple bucks. Rainbow, could be a couple bucks. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Pretty crazy. Yeah, I feel like GX, I mean, uh, that wasn't an awesome pack, but they got to really start hitting some big ones here. They're, they're going to be done. We have a Crystal Beast Emerald Tortoise. Storm Neos. This, I think, is one of the biggest ones in common. That's huge. Dreadmaster, maybe a dollar. Brandish of the Radiance, not bad. We have Electrum, I think, is decent. Rosebud, come on, give us a Ryo. Dark City and a Blade Master. But hey, we did get the Storm Neos. That's pretty big. Okay, so it was Storm Neos, but what I realized is they also have Prisma in Legendary Collection GX. They're not pulling any of them. Oh my goodness. Wow, they can't pull them. Well, the Storm Neos is big. That one's not in raw yellow, so that could be a, a huge difference. They can pull something. Burst Centric's not bad. Uh, Chimera Tech, there's a Ruxin Special. Past the Lumina. R, still no E Emergency Call. Interesting. Ruby Carbuncle, Arcus, Menominin. Rise, Gateway. Okay, that was a pretty bad raw yellow. I'm not going to lie. We're still, we still got, what, seven packs left or total, including this one? I think six after this. It's going to be close. Grinder Golem, Hero Mask. That's worth something. Grand Neos. I don't think Dark Destroyer is very good. Rainbow Dark Dragon. Okay, not great here for GX. Infernal Gainer and Nisashi. I think the difference is GX actually has possible dud packs. While Raw Yellow, it's very hard to have a dud pack. I say that, I'm probably about to do it right now. But there's just so many value cards. Like, there's a Bersinatrix. We got a uh, even, oh, Cyber End. We got the Light Edge Proving Ground. Money. Crystal Beacon. A couple bucks. Light End. Not great. So this is not even one of the best ones. And we're still pulling like decent stuff. Kasha and a Rise of Snake D. That was like one of the worst packs and it was still a few bucks. Let's see if we can turn it around here, GX. No duds. Come on. No duds. We have a Cold Enchanter. System down. Neos. Dogma Super. We got a Sparkman Alternate Art. That's good. Cyber Valley is also good. Neo Space. Come on. Give us a common. Ah. I feel like there's just more commons in this set that you're not getting all the good ones. Raw Yellow. Feels like maybe a smaller set in Raw Yellow Mega Pack. They have, look, another good common. Test Tiger. Only the second one of those, but still pretty good. Hero Mask is good. Garoth. Dimensional Prison. Crazy Ultra. E Emergency Call. Another huge pack. DD Crow. If there's a Prisma or a Ryo back here, we're going to die. Oh my goodness. Okay, it wasn't that time, but that was still like a $50 pack. Oh my goodness. Legendary Collection 2. You are not looking so hot. I think they're probably, they might be down by 100 bucks now. We had Grinder Gold, maybe even more. Dark Guy has a super in here. I forgot about that. The uh, Dual Link Special. We got the Hero City, Chaos Neos. It's not a bad pack here, but not good enough, I don't think. Wow, some decent cards, but it's looking pretty bleak. 
Ryo Omega Pack is running away with this one. I'm just interested to see if we can beat the total from last time between the two now. Stratos, good card. Mudball Man, we got Mudball Man, maybe something. Ubel, Future Fusion's good. Laquari, always great, secret rare. Hero Signal, Dark... Oh, burp, Dark Lord Desire. We have a Necro Shade and a Rainbow Dragon. So, I don't know, pretty good pack again. GX, your hope is probably gone, but that doesn't mean that you have to give up. You have pride. You have to believe in yourself, okay? Necroid Shaman, that's pretty good. You gotta show what you're worth. We got a Rampart Blaster, Cyber Dragon, Alternate Art, very good. Macrocosms, now we're talking. All right, GX is doing a little pep talk here. We got a Flare Scarab. Okay, that was not bad. Three packs left of each one, and we have pulled this much value that you guys have been seeing on the screen, but wow. It's a lot, that's all I know. Power Bond, Thunder King, Ryo added again. We got so many of those. You Bell, Lumina, Necro Garden is not great. We got a Topaz Tiger, Card Ejector, Diamond Dude, Overload Fusion, and a Kasha. So, Ryo, at it again. Five packs left. Three of Legendary Collection 2. Come on, Legendary Collection 2. Get that Neos Wiseman. Here we go. D Counter. We got a Rare Value with the Crystal Beast. We got a Secret Rare Darkened Dragon. That's even better than the Super Rare. We have a Cyber Valley. Not bad. Proving Grounds, not bad. And a Dark City. That, honestly, decent pack, but yeah, we already know this isn't enough. All right, last two packs right here. Raya Omega pack. I mean, might as well just get a Prisma, a Strat, just get all the good commons in one pack. We have Stratos, that's crazy money. I mean, it's three bucks for a common, that's pretty crazy. Disc Commander, we have Macro Cosmos again. Malicious again. Golly, Grand Mole, it's crazy. Card Ejector, these cards are so valuable. Card Trooper, wow. My stacks of like value cards are like literally like the bulk normally. Like they're that high, it's insane. Like half the cards are worth something. Captain Gold, I think's money. Ureza, Aqua Neos is money. Phantom Sky Blaster used to be like the most expensive card in the set, not anymore. Over Destiny, we have a Blade Master and a Amethyst Cat. Oh, there was another one. A Wild Wing Man, okay, probably not too crazy there. One pack left of each. We'll leave it for GX to potentially come back at the end. It's not gonna happen, guys. It's not gonna happen. I'm pretty sure I'm right on track with who's winning this one. We got Judgment Dragon, Card Blocker, Chimera Tech, another Eureza, we've had a lot of those. Neos Alias. Okay, they're kind of giving you a pretty weak pack to end, so maybe. GX, you could actually pull some of the good comments, maybe? Final pack, this has been a crazy opening. Hope you guys have enjoyed round two of this. I have certainly enjoyed it. Lady Heat's pretty good. Hero Mask, Card Ejector Super, Bersinitrix Alt Art. I think we got all the Alt Art, so that's pretty good. Ice Queen Ultra, I mean, it's not like GX had bad pulls, it's just, it wasn't enough. Space Gift, I feel like that used to be worth something for some reason. And Crystal Raigeki, so here's the final score. If you enjoyed it, uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this, and uh, that was crazy. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxer, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, Dizzy, Mycycle, America Deutscher, Supreme Stage 21, and then a tie show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mimic Gecko, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.